yeah um i guess thank you for watching that i guess since i moved my i can't see the little stuff towards the other side so i guess somebody watched that and then it popped it on to the for you because the last time i like uh these were live streams i believe and i, I don't i don't know it's like these are my normal videos this is the last thing i i streamed like on saturday it's two days ago oh yeah yeah okay so i'm gonna and then these were like three years ago my first world i kind of locked out It's a butt. What's a butt? Sorry, I can't remember what that rabbit season. My first rabbit kill. I feel so bad about it. <laughs> I really did. Changing habits or glitching out. Oh, yeah, I was deciphering certain things. And then, like, um. There's some Nautica. Nautica Blue Zero. Yeah, the first playthrough was like, I was told, hey, maybe you should, like, you know, what is that called? Um, stream that. And I was like, I was like, why? And I was like, so many other people are streaming. And they're like, but it's funny. Like, he, he was walking by and he was like, you're funny freaking out with these things because <laughs> I was like oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness holy flip holy flip what, what was that <laughs> everything was, I was freaking out but um yeah it was it was great that that sucked I went through two flipping moth things I think that was maybe my third one that I built because I was like I'm gonna get them this time I got my torpedoes up and then like I, I wanted to take him down. That Reaper, I was like, no. I was like, I got this thing. I'm going to take you down and it's going to be good. Oh, I have a lot of songs in some of these. Careful. Anything that says um, Ace Jingle, it gets stuck in your head. It will get stuck in your head. And it might even make you chuckle. I do apologize. But... Yeah, and then Terraria. I I have a disc of that, but I don't have it with me. I have to wait for some of my stuff to be sent. Um, Fallout. I haven't played that in a while. I made a few characters. Oh, I remember that shirt. I remember that shirt, too. Sorry. Some of my shirts were left behind. Like, a lot of them. So... Yeah. Mm. It's a good game too, Stardew Valley. I haven't completed that fully. This one, I, fu I went full on like I was in the game. Like I was this creature carrying. It was phenomenal. I did get attached to certain things. Don't watch it if you're a child. This is like 17 and above, 18 at the most above. Just like, I mean, dude, it was very gory and a dark sense of humor. Don't watch unless you have a dark sense of humor. That, that, that's it. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have 988 videos, <laughs> um, let's pop that up, and then, let's see, I was looking at the trophies to see if Sorry, all of a sudden I caught a whiff of like um, tater tots. I finished cooking, so and like early, so here I am, early. It is six something. 
but um, I was looking at the trophies to see what exactly I needed, and I'm like, holy f! I was like, I'm going to have to, like, hit hit a child, defeat a little girl without playing fair, like dodge this. I was like, is is this going to be like something I'm throwing at them? Is this gonna be like dodgeball? What what the hell is this? You know? But like, whatever. I'm trophy hunting. There's like, yeah, uh, steal from a thief, um, do some experimental treatment, like end the cycle, restart the cycle, leave the city to the world, city and the world to their fate, like just go, and eh, they brought it on themselves and walk away. And, uh, <laughs> So I'm not sure if upholding my agreement with Robert is going to kill this other guy, but I want to do a little more research on it before I um I actually go back and I, I tell him that his his son went crazy and whatnot. So yeah. So this one you can't actually platinum, and I don't know why I can't scroll up. So I am extremely early. I had set sent the um set the whatchamacallit for seven and I was like till whenever. So I'm probably gonna play till maybe eight and then uh take a shower and then get ready for bed. But you know, hey. I have been really tired like the last couple of days. Um Stay up till like old, no, 12, 12 50 last night. It wasn't my own doing, I couldn't get to sleep. Oh, there were people downstairs entertaining. Music was playing loud. And they were laughing and talking, which, you know, laughing and talking is good, it's grand. But, you know, people work. People have to work. I didn't have to work yesterday, but it's not the first time they've done this. I'm certain it's not the last time. This thermos. I love it. Look, look how pretty it is. So, there's roses and sunflower. Sunflower. So, in, in the picture it was actually a lot lighter, but I actually like how dark this is. It's pretty. box that has uh, daisies on it. It's mostly sunflowers, but then there's the occasional daisies uh, here and there. I like sunflowers. I like roses. I like daisies. I like them living. If someone gives me a rose, I will eat it. Rose petals are amazing. They're so tasty. Um... Uh, rose hips, you know, like, um, after, uh, I don't think it's before, I think it's after it, like, blooms and all the petal falls off, you know, when they, they harvest that stuff, uh, rose hip tea is really good for you. I'm not a doctor, don't quote me on this, don't flag my stuff for medical information, look it up yourself. Alrighty, but it's an anti-inflammatory also kind of an aphrodisiac too. Oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eating in days. Can I, can I give him a bone bullet? Oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eating in days.
Why, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Anyways, um... You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. So I did move stuff around. Obviously, because this is different. It's on, well, this side now. And, um... Because, like, me pointing this way is actually the right of my room. And it's... This is the left. So this is weird, I know. Oh. Back. Backwards. I was gonna say something, but then it was gonna say... Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. I already talked to them. Okay, so... Oh yeah, I did see it, like, before... I was supposed to be right in front of the, uh, the Robert person. Thornberry? Thorn... Thorn... Thornberry? 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 There was a show called the Thornberries whenever, uh... I was younger. It's about this, uh... This girl who could talk to the animals. I was like, oh yeah, that's cool. She got cursed into being able to talk to the animals. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've oh, encountered yeah. something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible, and when you can't keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. And he's gonna take it out on me. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Do I lie and save someone's life who went mad for a brief moment? Or do I... Do, do I tell him... Do I tell him the truth? I mean... and everything, and he did uh, technically kill him. Bye. I'll come back to that. I'll put a pin in it, right? <laughs> so let me pop this map up and see if there's anything else that I can look at or whatever. Is there a way around that area?
maybe that way. So it doesn't look like I can get anywhere over this way. Something's supposed to happen, I'm guessing. Whenever you fully um, go past this thing. Holy flip. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. Oh, yeah. Jump over there. Oh, 
someone taking damage. Oh, there's something on me. Holy damn. Okay, alright. I got him. I'm out. I'm out. Let me out. It's not going in water. No, it's good. So I really can't get over there. Hold on, maybe. I can't see my health bar, but I might have to scoop myself over just a smidge. Let's see if we can do that right now. Alrighty, so... It might show the, the bar. Phone boost. So I need to find some phone boost to, to do fast travel. Okay, so. Well, I could put the subscriber goal underneath and I could possibly jump on top of that could be interesting I'm gonna fiddle with things a little bit so that I'm not blocking any of these bars but yet I can still see that side well sorry that side 
so that um, I know what's going on over in that screen. Cause, like, for some reason, I think that there's something happening on that corner that's giving me like um, maybe little hints or something. Oh, press any button. We're good. Alright, so... We are back here. The boat would not let us over. Okay. So that, that part is kind of locked. Okay. So... Okay, so I can move myself a little bit closer. Give me a second. behind bars and I could see what I was looking for. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. I think of how I can take 
that picture. Okay, hold on. That thing. not doing anything. It's not even saving my pictures, but fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Join in, newcomer. Praise the sea with us. Um, thank you. <laughs> Join in, newcomer. Praise the sea with us. 
You're nice sometimes. I mean, it does a lot of good things. Houses a lot of interesting creatures. Washes away some bad people sometimes. Sorry, I'm sorry. So, um, it does wash away some good people sometimes, which is sad. Rest in peace. Talk to him in order to get past this. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands right. Said everything I see. know. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? And just as I suspected, the Innsmouther Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family, and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. Out. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throg Morton. You're welcome. I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes. You've earned it. Okay to think a newcomer barely off the boat. The Solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness. All linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the Flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. You mentioned the Flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. Where's His passing that? cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Do you think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. If I'm going to look into this, 
I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters, and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Professor Doe... I'm sorry. One day he was a boy, and now he's a professor. Professor Doe. Pillsbury Doughboy. No? Okay. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. <sighs> and of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Hook, line, and sinker. New case. Lost its sinker. Hold on a second. You see anything different? Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Like this? Like this? You talking about like this? Maybe like that. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I don't, I don't like testy people like that. I really don't. It, it irks me. It really, really irks me. It's like, dude, I'm, I'm there out of the kindness of my, my boredom. <laughs> I, I am pretty pretty much um, there because of the kindness of my heart because I I need to know I have this curiosity and whatnot and yes this cord right there that I keep accidentally flicking is the camera oh I do have one knowledge point what am I gonna do with it Why does it keep skipping past us? Okay. Smart pack can carry up to 25 pieces of any crafting material. Earn more experience and stay sane for slightly longer. That, that actually might be better. I don't know. Maybe health. I like going after health. Hmm. I mean the experience. It's gonna get me more knowledge points, right? Chosen. I don't regret it. Anyways, moving on. Mm, okay, so I got a key. And lost expedition. Okay, so Robert funded an expedition to discover the origins of the mass hysteria gripping Okmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Okmont. Excuse me. Uh, contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I well, he was hired to find an any other expedition members dead or alive. Uh, Robert will be waiting for his report in this manor in Southern Old Grove. Okay. The key is for the headquarters. Um... It is northern cover side at the crossroads of Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. I think that's where we are right now. Welcome. Okay. 
Okay, so sorry that frosty welcome is covered, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna be pinning this. Mm. I'll open this one since it gives us the um Oh they're gone. Looks like someone's gonna jump out. Someone's gonna jump out. Flipping huge mouth. I mean, he's just sucking him in. If I had that kind of like air power, dude, like Superman, Superwoman kind of thing, you know, suck in and blow out kind of thing. I'm sure he blows out. Like, what if he eats something that's disgusting? <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Um, materials to create in, uh, in the inventory interface? Wait, so there's a way I can craft things? Oh, excuse me. Could be the chamomile. It's chamomile honey vanilla. And I threw like two to three creamer little cartridges things and yeah I'm trying to use them all. I went back to powdered sugar. So I got this like um the little creamers because I okay so where I work didn't have any creamer and I was told that we weren't allowed to store use the creamer so I bought myself some and I would take like two little um, creamers for the coffee at work because I, I need my creamer it's like I can't bring a whole gallon of milk there so oh sorry press any button to continue I'm waiting for the uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper like Fortis Desmond. Brothers. Okay, look at his face. Then look where the the Crew of the Cyclops. The second one. Semper Fortis Brothers. To, to the left. He looks like he's on there. In the front row. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. Only remember, only remember the screams and the metal creaking water. Sorry. Um... Uh, water filling the deck and my headache the worst I've ever had I found myself among the floating seaweed drowning a nearby piece of the boat helped them survive and reach the shore 
of a small island they found him on a later starving half mad babbling about the ancient ruins and their de den denizens the nines i don't know the officials said none of what i well he thought he'd seen was real but the memories are true his strange power uh, gained after that ordeal prove it he found something horrible on the island, something old and dark and slithering, and it still haunts him. His diary, part one. What, no sheets? No comforter? It's probably this in the corner. What is this? All that we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. That's um, it's deep. USN Charles W. Reed, three twenty one. So March twenty first, uh, possibly either eighteen seventeen. 1917? I don't know. It could be anything 17. To um, October 9th, 94. I can't math that in my head. Give me a second. I got a calculator. Super huge. Can you, can you tell it is super huge? <laughs> Can I get this corner? Okay, there we go. So we're going... Um... Three... Oh, sorry. We 94... Minus... 17. He was 77 when he died? Do they live a long time? Never again, they say. I'm thinking like, you know, dog tag and everything. Do, do people still go out on missions like at 77 years old? I'm sure they probably do, right? But... Anyways, the number of attacks on the inner Innsmouth immigrants has increased. Raids are intensifying with more and more Innsmouthers exposed to abuse and assault sometimes. Whole families are found dead in their houses. Police are on the case with several illegal Innsmouthers, businesses captured, and their owners sent to jail. It's a lot of racism. Sorry, speciesism? It's, it's not right, dude. It's like I judge people from their inside, and that one cop that I um, pointed my gun at? I didn't like him. I didn't shoot, but I didn't like him. Um, this, uh, <laughs> I'm sure people around, like, actually listening to this is, it's, it's gonna be bad. Anyways, so, this city ought to have been cleaned of these fish face scum long ago, said Robert. Head of the uh, what is Throg Morton grand family. I regret only one thing. It all started too late. Had we not neglected our civic duties, my son Albert would still be here with us. Uh, 
Oh damn, so he started, yep, I totally started that. That's fucking awful. Oh, I can change? Unburden newcomer. Ooh, wind coat. Don't I look fashionable? Oh, sorry, he looks pretty dapper. He's gonna get wet. I don't know. I'm kind of digging it. It's called King's Road. I'm sorry, he he looks like one of those Indiana Jones character evil villain guys like that. That's just... Looks like a popo. Sorry, a police officer. Help the police officer get crime scene photos in the extra hours. Plague Doctor. I was trying to think of what I was. Of course, it has the name right there. <laughs> I was like. What is that called? It's like uh, it's like a doctor, but like they used to put flowers in in the part of their, you know that that beak thing, and I was like it was cause cause there was a sickness. What was the sickness called? And it took me a minute. And I was like, okay, so Master Sleuth, what the hell? You notice the um. Um, I, the leather, I can't slicker, it's not a slicker, it's a flipping, I, I keep wanting to say bandana, but it's not a flipping bandana either, apron, it's an apron, <laughs> it, it has an ear on it, it has a belly, it has like a, a chest, thing and a face. I mean, there's one, two, two faces and possibly three. That looks like a chest, um, part and there's an ear and there, there's a lot of stuff on that. So I'm going to put on the wind coat because I like that one the best. Now we look pretty damn dapper. What is this? So it's all ailments and add, add to any spirits or tonics. Devil fish and sun's pharmacy. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. This girl. She's pretty. Sorry, I, I can't look at him like that anymore. He's taken. Maybe I should go get something not so dapper. Mr. Reed, it seems that you overextended yourself while conducting the inv investigation for Robert. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please, take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for, your ev for you every time. Johan. Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Give me a plaque. Yoink.
not to walk in a room or something like that. For reasons. Reasons. <laughs> I boarded up the windows and locked the door. They are just men. The Yellow King's gang. The guy in yellow? Johan? He's the, the king? I mean, I did say the, like something about the king with the, the outfit, which was weird. Uh, they can't get here now. Now there's only me. Me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. Investigating. Intrepidating. Investigating. The horrors of down. Sorry, anyways, I'm sorry. I must be in a good mood. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floor. I started out having an awful mood because I was cranky as flip, too. Um, lack of sleep, among other things. Hey, I, I had to buy some stuff on with with an app so that I can have some deodorant and some other things that I need around the house. Anyways, but I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave. Landlord. <sighs> the door won't bust. Okay. How dare you walk me out? I'll just huff and puff. <laughs> and then I'll leave. So I'm not a bad one. Sorry. I'm sorry. So. Anyways. Because there are people who identify as wolves, and I don't want to offend. And then there are people who are actually wolves, and I don't want to offend. Just making a joke. Oh, conspiracy board. Sorry, um, what, what else do they call them? Something, something boards? Um, so the lighthouse is out, several ships have gotten lost at sea, and some are now decorating the sea's beaches, the city's beaches. That's one thing, but now there's an enterprise fellow at the city port hiring sav salvagers to recover ships. Seems like they're exploiting uh, some tragedies there. He's turning a tidy profit from selling them. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look into it. Now, if only the city wasn't so impossible to navigate. I will look into it for you. Can I take a picture of this? Take a picture of this. If only it saved those. Hold on a second. I could screenshot this. Ta da! Picture taken. Work around. Just in case I need it. No mirror? Okay, well, I 
I guess my room was fancy. Well, you know, know thy neighbor and all that good stuff. I would not go into somebody's house like this. What the hell is that hanging? That's where this person was dragging stuff. <sighs> the door won't budge. But I was like, I have a key. Not the right kind of key, but... Whoa, that looks creepy. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. Noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Are we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you, no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. You got it. Thank you. Let's look at this, um... No clues. About to read some clues. Letters from... Forlorn Woman. The city, no matter how badly the flood damage... Well, the flood damaged it, has an unnatural appeal. I can't stop myself from walking, even if it means being struck by further visions. Uh... Excuse me. They went to the eastern part of the Salvation, Sal, Salva, the Salvation Harbor, near the crossing of Fritz O'Callaghan Street and Old Church Road. Sorry. It came. <laughs> The feeling of loneliness and fear was immense. They were a woman, locked in a room, infected and slowly rotting. Their body turned into something. It itched badly in it. And their face... Badly and their face. Um, they had to hold the skin with both hands to prevent it from growing until... They suffocated. Uh, they ended up sitting on the road, crying until some innsmouther kicked them and ordered them away. That's weird. 
Um, disgusting exalt exaltation exaltation I don't know what that is um no matter how different my well their visions may be they are always so frightening today it was was man he left a house in southern old grove on starwick street somewhere between seaside and hillside street our eyes met and they immediately felt the burning exalt exhalation a wild torrent of emotions they saw him among the monstrosities touching them embarrassing oh, sorry touching them embracing kissing the vision was so intense they bent into and threw up all their breakfast he walked past saying something like cursed newcomers and uh, they prayed he wouldn't stop to help even now uh, when they close their eyes they see the creatures around this man kind of creepy okay so lone child I'm gonna try to go in order uh, the visions are testing them playing with their mind my oh, sorry their old forgotten fears come to life when they were small when, when they were strong small uh, they were afraid of to stay alone they thought their parents would leave and never come back Aww. sorry uh, today they went to the eastern streets of Cover Coverside and the visions came on the corner of Saint is it, is it Saint or Street? Street Elmo Lane? Saint Elmo Oh hail the Saint Elmo <laughs> Sorry uh, in Kingsport Street they felt they were alone forgotten in a locked room hungry and frightened it was so scary to stay inside but everything was much worse behind the door something scratched in the corridor and there were terrifying screams from outside uh, they could not run could not hide they just waited for their mom to return that's so sad Mirrors, mirrors. They're afraid someone stalks them. It started when they visited Western Advent and had a vision at the intersection of Purity Road and Oak Street. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm trying not to judge these names of the, uh, the streets, but it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, they saw a mirror full of reflections and someone trapped, trying in vain to escape. His expression of fear and panic shook them deeply after that. A very tall and skinny man started following him or following them to the dis in the distance that what troubles them is that they saw him in the reflections but have never caught a straight view of this stalker they're sure the police will mock him, mock them if they come asking for protection seems it is time to buy a good trusty trustworthy gun and start to practice dot 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 let's do this one first call of the ocean tonight the air forced them to leave the hotel the putrid smell of rotting seaweed and fish made it hard to breathe <coughs> sorry so <laughs> i'm getting into the story just okay anyways um 
I remembered a huge, sorry, they remembered a huge apple tree and thought it might be nicer there. Moreover, it was huge, sorry, they were afraid that the hotel owner would see their seizures. The visions occur when, uh, when they were a few blocks from the apple tree walking East Brown Street in Central Shells. Anyways, uh, they feel like they, they were drowning. That's, that's sad. It's really sad. They ran forward and then they passed the, the street of St. Michael's Church they felt the water surrounding them, pressing, calling. They needed, they needed all, they needed all their will to fight the desire, the desire to go to the mar and sink into its depths. Da, da, da. That's, that's scary. Static in ears. Um... They were walking the Lumber Street in Eastern Reeds Heights when it happened again. It's not just a vision, but a noise. Hissing radio static, growing louder and louder. Voices from afar were lost in it, crying desperately. Man, this game is so flippin' scary. Freaky, irky, urgh, chilly. Anyways, so... They tried not to show how bad it was. They were afraid to reveal it to the locals. The image came after they passed Bullock Street towards the Hillog? Kind of, kind of reminds me of Kellogg, but you know Hillog Street. The, the hissing, it's like somebody was like, I need a name for this damn street, and they have like some Kellogg cereal on their, their table. No, but we can't use Kellogg's. It's like, let's, let's like, uh, put an H there. <laughs> Do a heel But anyways, uh, the hissing flooded my mind, well, their mind, and they saw... A man surrounded by radios talking to them. He was dying. Uh, they felt it. And when it happened, the vision was gone. Voices from the pipes. Um, they're afraid of the bathroom and the kitchen sink. Each time they want to wash their hands, they tremble in fear. What if they, they'll talk to me? Um, okay, I'm, I'm not following, but I guess the voices from the pipes, what if the pipes talk to him? Him or her? I don't know what sex this person is. It, letters from Oakmont. I don't know what Oakmont is, whether it's a male or a female. So, um, this began after a vision in Western Reed Heights. Um, near the crossing of Eben? 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 I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say Eben. Uh, Ward and Baker Street. They saw a man naked and covered in blood in a room without doors or windows, surrounded by the dark holes of the pipes. He was cutting himself piece by piece, feeding those copper mouths. Again. If you were under the age of 17, get the flip out of here. You shouldn't be watching this. Or even listening to this. Shoo. Okay, I'm gonna have to put age restrictions on this. Anyways, 
So. Um, they were whispering with voices so sweet and promising full but full of hunger and hatred how could he believe them could he even escape and had they noticed me well had they noticed him Yeah, the, um, the innkeep was, uh, pretty right about this. Um, it was getting crazier and crazier by each, you know, little document we're reading. Okay, so, from behind. So, anyways, um, they can't help but turn around at any noise after what they saw yesterday. They walked down the Murdoch Avenue in Western Advent and near Oak Street uh, they uh, they hit they were hit with an excruciating migraine their nose started to bleed and the visions came uh, they saw one man writing a letter and another about to strike him from behind somehow they were both the spectator and the sitting man, but no matter how they cried out warning or tried to move, it didn't work. It seems they lost consciousness when the killer hit the man's head and it took them several hours to get back to the hotel after. Wow, it, it sounds really bad, like, I mean, if it was just visions, not migraines, like, splitting head and damage of the brain, you know, dude. But anyways, after this vision, they shake in fear at the sound of a child's cry. Terrible fetus. Okay, all right, so it happened in Western Reed Heights on Washington Street. They passed by Ebon Street and was heading towards Oak Street, but then saw it. The thing was running so fast, they didn't even understand what it was. It jumped from the window and the vision struck them immediately. They saw a man, a doctor hiding in the room. He was writing something with a shaking hand. Uh, something like a last will. Oh. Oh. Anyways. Uh, and they saw the thing stalking him. A fetus on thin pointy legs with a little face full of evil and hatred. It's streaking. I can't forget it. I want. If you've played any of the Resident Evil games and saw the little baby looking ones, no. It's it's scary. Don't look that up. It's scary. So, it's Mouther. I warned you not to look it up. So if you look it up, that's on you. So Inz Mouther's notes. Local in-mouthers scare them a lot. They've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pers pursue them even in visions. Recently, they were in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whisper Street. <laughs> Grimhaven Bay, Whisper Street. St. Elmo. Yeah, this, these places are weird. Just really weird. Um, okay, that went to when the, the vision came. Sorry, they barely made it to Hubert Avenue. Because, you know, the Grand Hubert. It's, it's a great name. It's, oh, dude. 
Um, Hubert was really popular in the 1800s, leading on to like the early 1900s. I don't know where it started from. I'll have to look into it. You know what? Let's take a pause from the gore and um, let's look into it right now. Where is it? Okay, so let me see if I spelled this right because nothing is pulling up. H-U-B-E-R-T. Yeah, I spelled it right. Where did the name Hubert? Hubert. Maybe I should cap it because it's giving me a uh, misspelling alert. Better? Alright, duck, duck, go. So, meaning and origin and history of the name Hubert means bright heart. Nice. Derived from the old German elements Hugo, which means mind, thought, spirit, and um, Berent, which means bright. Saint Hubert was the 8th century bishop of Maastricht. I have no idea how to say that correct. Uh, who is considered the patron saint of hunters. Ooh. Uh, the Nor- the Normans? brought the name to England where it were placed in Old English dot 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 I'm not going into that um, okay so this one says that the meaning of Hubert is quick-witted uh, having brilliant mental qualities it's from the seven, 1741 1700s, huh? I thought it was 1800s. I didn't go far back enough. The uh, German Germanic word commonly used to form given names and figures in the etymology of... Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so baby names, Hubert means bright, shining, intelligent. All right. We should bring back the name Hubert. It sounds fantastic. And I like saying it, Hubert. Anyways, so when, <laughs> when the visions came, uh, they stood among many Innsmouthers, disgusted as one of them disguised as one of them and listened. Their leader read the story of a captain participating in pagan rites copulating with savage witches and beasts? I showed you that picture. That, that flipping picture. You know of the the, the male holding the the, the embrace of the, the fish. This is what this is talking about right now. So, um, uh, beasts and bringing sacrifices, they still remember his name, o Obed? Oh, Obed. <laughs> That's what I say when I'm tired. I'm like, oh, Obed. You know, but <laughs> here we go. Lullaby Crossroads. <sighs> Sorry. 
adjusting myself, getting comfy again. Uh, today they fell asleep on the street. They're sure it's connected to the vision somehow because they fell they felt the same nausea and headaches as before they strike. Excuse me. It happened in Coverside. I cover my side. <laughs> Sorry. Coverside. Uh, near the corner of Tanner Street. It's like cover your side or you're going to get tanned. So it's okay because like um you know tan tanning your hide is it's an old uh reference to getting beat getting like spanked like um a whooping uh, a punishment if you will so uh the old church road and the old church road they felt dizzy and um, the mouth was full of bittersweet taste. They saw a woman with kind eyes giving them a drink and whispering something. Immediately after that, they fell asleep and spent nearly half a day lying in the dirt while a ho like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole anything from them. Did they send them on like a spirit quest or like something like that? Or did, or did they like, you know, trying to, trying to think, maybe like poison them a little so that, I don't know, maybe they're raiding their room. Anyways, a uh, pack of notes. The hotel owner allowed them to look through the weird notes he found in the rooms of disappeared newcomers. Among them, they found several pages from the diary of a man describing his life in Oakmont. He said, what? This is trippy. I just read all of this to sit there and read that this stuff might actually happen to me. Or well, my character. Uh, he suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. Was he trying to avoid them? Okay. Alright. Lore. Yes, more reading. This is a game full of reading. This is, this is gonna happen. So, the number of attacks on the Innsmouth immigrants has increased. Raids intensifying with... I think we already read this. Yes, we read that already. Too many coincidences. Lighthouse out. We read that one already. Classic. Da, 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 da. Okay, you read that. Uh, so you're dragging things in there. You landlord. Okay. Uh, boarded up the windows. Locked the doors. Already read that. Mr. Reed. It seems. Yep. Already read that. Um, yeah, that's his diary. Okay, now we're all up to date, and we can continue on. My dear Victor, how is Oakmont treating you? Should you, should you require any support, the Blackwoods will be happy to help you. Uh, I have arranged for that. Uh, regarding your question, I don't know where Robert went, sadly, uh, only that he did not stay in Innsmouth. Perhaps there is hope. Sorry, I just saw something moving right there. Like, I thought it might have been like, like a spider trying to cl climb the wall or something, but there's nothing there. Oh. I wouldn't mind a spider, honestly. 
I, I've gotten like quite a few ladybugs, like ladybird beetles, something like that. But, um, yeah, I put them outside. It's like, I don't know where they came from. They just popped out of the, the woodwork and they're, they were there. It's like, all right. Like, I don't, I don't have any food for you. There's nothing to hunt in here. Just, I mean, the ladybirds would eat the spiders and the spiders would eat the ladybirds, but, you know. Anyways, um, uh, regarding my question, don't know where Robert went, the only, only that he did not stay in Innsmouth, perhaps there is hope he didn't perish in that cursed raid, take good care of the hotel, please, plenty of our relatives were interested in the property, but you're still my favorite nephew. I don't, well, I know the Devil's Reef is in good hands. Kind regards, Aunt Port Portia. Port Portia. Okay. I don't know, I just, I felt like it was for, you know, well, not for, but from a female. So I just started reading it as a female. I didn't look at uh, who it was from. I probably should have. But. Ice cream here? What the hell do they milk? Sorry, I'm trying to think of what they might milk and what maybe dolphins? I mean, what do I, can you make dolphin ice cream? I'm sure as hell believing that they can't actually milk a um what is it called? Um, a whale. I don't even think it's possible to milk a, a fucking dolphin. That's a king crab. Oh, hey, there's another note. I think, note about the hobo side, Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure things out. Locals use signs to mark special places that you know already. Kind of like the secret signs hobo use all over the country. That's true. Um, da -da 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 -da. What I learned is that the tradition dates back to times well well before the floods i've been able to find out the meaning of some of them you've seen the crook eight crooked h shape signs on the doors around town that means that the house is inhabited the cross hatch grid sign marks hidden caches the V-shaped sign is for barricaded dangerous places. Good catch there, they say. Still haven't figured out the spiral shape sign though. You'll have to investigate for yourself. And if you see a sign with a cross and three Ks, reach for the gun. Okay. Maybe it means like big boss. Like open. Okay, that means it's inhabited.
devil's room. I kind of want to see. Give me a second. Uh, oh, more war. Whoops. Gotta save. Um, saving. Manual saved. Yes, I want it to be overwritten. <gasps> How could I? What happened? Sorry, anyways. So. I passed out here and then he dr dragged me all the way up this way? Can I focus out of the map? Okay, so R3 focus marker. Okay, L3 is to find my character again. So there's so many places I still need to look at. Wow, this game is gonna be flipping huge. Reeds Heights, Advent. Oh, these are districts, not just Old Grove, Coverside, Coverside, sorry, Grim Haven Bay. You see that? Freedom Avenue. Okay, so here's Old Church from well, Old Church. I'm trying to look for something that says one of the other names. Because he said it was on the I think it's more, more road. It was on church, uh, road and intersection between... Well, I guess I'll find it eventually, yeah. Octopus Avenue. There's an Octopus Avenue. Octopus. Skipper Road. You know they were a uh, um, Gilligan's uh, fan. Gilligan's Island. Skipper. Around. Can I have a car? 
What a waste. Looks like we're in the 19... 1950s, maybe? this for a second. We're gonna look. It's it's time to um wanna see how far I was off. the very like kind of first ones 1672 I guess they were the first uh, steam powered vehicles so let me pop this back up and then in the 19th century or in 18 history of the automobile this car is vented Okay, so 1924, that looks like the model that we um, just saw. Oh, the scary music. Scary music. Named creeping from the abyss below. Atone for your deeds before it's too late. Okay. Look for your sins. Well, isn't that what you do when you atone? You like kind of kneel down or whatever? Um. Um. I was gonna ask her why she's itching so much, but I, I'm now kind of. Are you considering it?
I mean, you saw the little eyes and stuff too, right? But it's a set of stairs. But it's a set of stairs. Oh, come on. Seaweed. I can't understand that. Relax, breeze, breeze out. Boots and shoes. My doors are open. over the, the ridge. Probably a way to get down eventually, but...
say I brought some. I mean, he's eating it. It's almost like they're a problem. To give an interview. The old papers oh, are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Just give me a second. Uh, what's that got to do with it? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but... Tell our reader something more about yourself. I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the USS Cyclops and, well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. She, Why are you here? Hitting on what him? brought you to Oakmont? I've been investigating disappearances all around Massachusetts. The missing people all seem to have ended up here for some reason. Hmm. The mystery of the newcomers. And you want to know why they're here? <laughs> Well, they aren't very forthcoming about it. And it doesn't help that most of them aren't thinking straight, to put it mildly. I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. Um, maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. See you later. Yeah! So, you a talker? No. Oh, yes, the archives. So, flip. Uh, choose your evidence. The hotel owner allowed me to look through the weird notes he found in the room of disappeared newcomers. Along them, they found several pages from the diary of a man describing his life. So it is a man, okay. In Oakmont, he suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. Was he trying to avoid them? Um, for more 
turned woman. The city, no matter how badly. Da, 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 da. Eastern part of Salvation Harbor. Okay, so it was near the crossing of Fitz. Fitz O. Callahan Street and Old Church Road. Okay, so. After the flood. Well, obviously this is after the flood. Um. Whoops. People. Select three search criteria. Um. People. A woman locked in the room. Effect is slowly rotting. articles, advertisements, advent clover sign. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where was it? What's the eastern part of the Salvation Harbor near the crossing of... So, Salvation Harbor. Okay. Search no information regarding the <laughs> oh my god, is this thing anyway? Alrighty, so we could possibly change this out to oh, that was it. Section No. For officials and then Salvation Harbor. Well, I thought that there might be something like an official said something about, like, made a quote or something. Okay, so. Lone child. Clover sign. Sorry, Clover sign. The year might have been wrong. Hold on a second. Well, let's just search this then.
have to have it on there in order to... Discussing evaluations. Old growth. Touching and embracing people, so it could have been celebrity. Okay, so this definitely looks like a, a, a death or something, a murder. Murdoch Avenue. Whoops. Advent. Struck him from behind. Don't think I possibly want to put on that. See if we can find something recent. Okay. Well, it definitely wasn't Advent, was it? 
Grimhaven Bay. What section are we in right now? I have no idea. I tried. Is that two males kissing right there? Yeah, that's what I see, because like the big circle is pointing it out. Looks like Robert and uh, Johan. switched after and he gave uh, well I don't think he actually gave birth to a um Andrew I believe it was it's just um sit there and go, ah, oh, to be or not to be, not the question. But anyways, I did it anyways. Editor's office. Oh, it goes up.
shelter. Shoes are such good value. Why not have style and comfort? John W. Russ Co. She shall. The great new perfume. Today is the 12th. March 12th. Alright, so. Yep, I think that's about it. Let me just, um. Or maybe I should go to the menu. Have a good one.